Economy of Gabon Gabon enjoys a per capita income four times that of most nations of sub-Saharan Africa, its reliance on resource extraction industry releasing much of the population from extreme poverty. Gabon depended on timber and manganese until oil was discovered offshore in the early 1970s. The oil sector now accounts for 50% of GDP and 80% of exports. Although there have been recent offshore finds, oil production is now declining from its peak of the 1997, and periods of low oil prices have had a negative impact on government revenues and the economy. In 2012, there were six active oil rigs in Gabon. Public expenditures from the years of significant oil revenues have no been spent well. The government announced in 2012 that it would reassess exactly how much iron ore the Balinga site contains before awarding the concession to a mining company, most likely to be China's Kmec, which temporarily secured the rights to the ore in 2007. Overspending on the Transgabon, Transgabonize, railway in the France CFA devaluation of 1994 have caused debt problems. Gabon has earned a poor reputation with the Paris Club and the International Monetary Fund, IMF for management of its debt and revenues. IMF missions, related to the now-lapsed EFF program, have criticized the government for overspending on off-budget items, in good years and bad, over-borrowing from the central bank, and slipping on the schedule for privatization and administrative reform. Gabon's oil revenues have given it a per capita GDP of more than $10,000, unusually high for the region. On the other hand, a skewed income distribution and poor social indicators are evident. The economy is highly dependent on extraction of abundant primary materials. After oil, timber and manganese mining are eat the other major sectors. Gabon continues to face fluctuating prices for its oil, timber, manganese, and uranium exports. Foreign and Gabonese observers have consistently lamented the lack of transformation of primary materials in the Gabonese economy. Various factors have so far stymied more diversification, a small market of 1 million people. Dependence on French imports, inability to capitalize on regional markets, lack of entrepreneurial zeal among the Gabonese, and the fairly regular stream of oil rent. The small processing and service sectors are largely dominant had be just a few prominent local investors. In 1992, Gabon failed to settle arrears on its bilateral debt, leading to a cancellation of rescheduling agreements with official and private creditors. Devaluation of its CFA franc by 50% on January 12, 1994 sparked a one time inflationary surge, to 35%. The rate dropped to 6% in 1996. The IMF provided a one year standby arrangement in 1994 to 1995 and a three year extended fund facility, EFF at near commercial rates beginning in late 1995. Those agreements mandate progress in privatization and fiscal discipline. France provided additional financial support in January 1997 after Gabon had matimp targets for mid-1996. In 1997, an IMF mission to Gabon criticized the government for overspending on off-budget items, over-borrowing from the central bank, and slipping on its schedule for privatization and administrative reform. The rebound of oil prices in 1999 helped growth, but drops in production hampered Gabon from fully realizing potential gains. Animal husbandry is limited by the presence of the tsetse fly, though tsetse-resistant cattle have recently been imported from Senegal to a cattle project. In 2005 there were an estimated 212,000 hogs, 195,000 sheep, 90,000 goats, 35,000 head of cattle and 3.1 million chickens. In an effort to reduce Gabon's reliance on meat imports, the government set aside in Gabon's unpopulated savanna region for three ranches at Aoni, Nyanga, and Lekabi. Currently, however, frozen imports are the most important source of beef, costing four times less than locally produced beef. Poultry production satisfies about one half of Gabon's consumption demand. Typical annual production of poultry amounts to 3,600 tons. While there have been recent improvements in the fishing industry, it is still relatively undeveloped. Traditional fishing accounts for two-thirds of total catch. The waters off the Gabonese coast contain large quantities of fish. Gabonese waters are estimated to be able to support an annual catch of 15,000 tons of tuna and 12,000 tons of sardines. The fishing fleet was formerly based chiefly in Libreville. A new fishing port was built at Port Jean-T in 1979 which is now the center of operations for the industrial fleet. Plans for a cannery, fish meal factory, 
and refrigerated storage facilities are underway. The total catch in 2003 was 44,855 tons, 80% from the Atlantic. By international agreement and Gabonese law, an exclusive economic zone extends off the coast, which prohibits any foreign company to fish in this zone without governmental authorization. However, since Gabon has no patrol boats, foreign trawlers, especially French and Spanish, often illegally capture tuna in Gabonese waters. Gabon's industry is centered on petroleum, manganese mining, and timber processing. Most industrial establishments are located near Libreville and Port Jean T. Virtually all industrial enterprises were established with government subsidies in the oil boom years of the 1970s. Timber related concerns include five veneer plants and a large 50 year old plywood factory in Port Jean T, along with two other small plywood factories. Other industries include textile plants, cement factories, chemical plants, breweries, shipyards, and cigarette factories. Gabonese manufacturing is highly dependent on foreign inputs, and import costs rose significantly in 1994 when the CFA franc was devalued. Increased costs and oversized capacity have made the manufacturing sector less competitive and it mainly supplies the domestic market. The government has taken steps to privatize parastatal enterprises. Because the Gabonese economy is dependent upon oil, Crude oil accounts for over 80% of the country's exports, 43% of GDP, and 65% of state revenue, it is subject to worldwide price fluctuations. Gabon is Sub-Saharan Africa's third-largest crude oil producer and exporter, although there are concerns that Pervon reserves are declining and production has declined as well. Thus the country has taken steps to diversify the economy and to engage in further petroleum exploration. The country produced of oil per day in 2014 a decrease of 35% from the 1997 peak. Gabon's proven oil reserves were estimated at in 2015, and its proven natural gas reserves were estimated at. The Sagra oil refinery at Port Jean T is the sole refinery in Gabon, built in 1968 by a consortium that included Total, Shell, Mobile, Texaco, Petrofina, and Agip. Sagra, Société Gabonaise de Raffinage, is owned by the government of Gabon, 25%, Total. 43.8%, Shell, 17%, and Agip, 2.5%. In 2012 Gabon signed an agreement with Samsung for the construction of a new refinery at Port John T. The following table shows the main economic indicators in 1980-2017. GDP, composition by sector BR agriculture, 5.7% BR industry, 57.2% BR services, 37%, 2008 S. Population below poverty line na percent household income or consumption by percentage share BR lowest 10 percent na percent BR highest 10 percent na percent inflation rate consumer prices 5 percent 2008 test labor force colon 592 comma 000 2008 test labor force by occupation agriculture 60 percent services and government 25 percent industry and commerce 15 percent. 2000 S. Unemployment rate, 21%, 2006 S. Budget BR revenues, $4.46 billion BR expenditures, $2.75 billion, 2008 S. Industries food and beverage, textile, lumbering and plywood, cement, petroleum extraction and refining, manganese, uranium, and gold mining, chemical production, ship repair. Industrial production growth rate, 1.5%, 2008. Oil, production. Oil, consumption. Oil, exports. Oil, imports. Oil, proven reserves. Natural gas, production 100 million cubic meter, 2006 S. Natural gas, consumption 100 million cubic meter, 2006 S. Natural gas, exports 0 cubic meter, 2007 S. Natural gas, imports 0 cubic meter, 2007 S. Natural gas, proven reserves 28.32 billion cubic meter, January 1, 2008 S. Electricity, production colon 1.671 TWH, 2006 S. Electricity, production by source BR fossil fuel, 27.8% BR hydro, 72.2% BR nuclear, 0% BR other. 0%, 1998. Electricity, consumption, 
1.365 gigawatt hours, 2006 s. Electricity, exports, 0 kilowatt hours, 2006 s. Electricity, imports, 0 kilowatt hours, 1998. Agriculture, products cocoa, coffee, sugar, palm oil, rubber, cattle, okume, a tropical hardwood, fish. Current account, balance dollar 591 million, 2010 s. Currency colon one comunote financiera african franc, CFAF, equals 100 centime. Exchange rates comunote financiera african francs, CFAF, per one US dollar to 507.71, 2010, 472.19, 2009, 447.81, 2008, 481.83, 2007, 522.89. 2006, 647.25, January 2000, 615.70, 1999, 589.95, 1998, 583.67, 1997, 511.55, 1996, 499.15, 1995 BR Note, since January 1, 1999. The CFAF is pegged to the euro at the rate of 655.957 CFA francs per euro. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.